Wait, I have a question about organic it, because I know last time I talked to you, I think we were talking about looking for organic tampons. Which and is like, something I, that is coming. I finally found a brand that actually okay. meets my standards. But what does that mean? Like, why is organic good? And why is it better what than not organic? <laughs> You just don't, right? Hey, it's all over the news lately, right? Yeah. People are finally actually talking about this, which I'm so happy to see because people are waking up and like realizing how much- But ex chemical wait, ex start with explaining why organic versus not organic is important. And well, if you, okay, for if you have like a non-organic cotton tampon, then that means that that cotton has had the ability to be sprayed with pesticides yeah. or any other chemicals. And then you are literally taking that and inserting it in your vagina and wearing it around all day. Yeah. And it's remember- It's not good. Yeah. Yeah. It, and, and it's not that organic is completely free and clear it's of cleaner. all toxins because in our world, obviously we're in an environment. So there's going to be, you know, water running from other yes. farms. So there's, there'll be a portion of it, but organic standards are, and, and with cotton, you have to be very careful. And we know that too, because of our compresses, yes. because cotton is one of the most sprayed uh, yeah. crops in the States and across the world. So yeah. the organic factor with that is very key because it'll help to ensure that there's just less of a load, right? So yeah. even your organic food, it's not that it's like a hundred percent clean because that'll never happen, but it's cleaner than. Yes. Got right. It. Okay. Yeah. I mean, when I hear organic, I think of eggs or chicken. I didn't yeah. know that it really matters <laughs> in your products. Um, okay. So wait, Dr. Marisol, what are some new products or innovations are you most excited about in your future? Yes. So we are launching an exclusive uh, beauty line and actually we're doing a collaboration box with a uh, wellness so goddess, which will be super wow. cool. limited edition. Yes. And what it contains, it contains our, our beauty sleep eye mask. It's basically your nighttime routine uh, for your eye care, for eye, uh, improving the appearance of eyebrows, eyelashes, improving the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So it comes with a uh, wrinkle roller. So again, a small little roller. And it still has the rose quartz. And it's quartz, got rose quartz there. Important. Yeah. And all you do at night, the easy routine, it's it's under a minute, is literally just, again, under your under eye circles, your crow's feet. Um, you know, you can rub it on your lids as well, too, because as we age, there's drooping of the lids. So you want to make sure that you target all those three areas. And then- now, is that going to make you oily, by the way? Or can you wear it under your makeup? So uh, you, it's a nighttime, nighttime. practice, so you don't want to do- it in the morning. It's mainly like to go to bed. So this is going to be your nighttime practice. And then we have an exclusive lash and brow wand. I'm so excited. This is super exciting because this is revolutionary. There is castor oil people or people buy castor oil bottles and then, you know, fill up a plastic, uh, mascara tube, but this is glass. Remember castor oil cannot be in plastic. And then it's an easy application for your eyebrows and for your eyelashes. And then, then you follow it up and you put on your eye mask like, so and then this preserves your pillows. <laughs> oh, I've got to get this. This is amazing. Yeah, and, One thing and I want to tell people, because I'm looking at mine, by the way, the, the rose quartz thing on here is very pretty. Um, it it doesn't smell, which is great. No. no. In fact, our castor oil almost has, like it's compared to like a, a, a light, slight nutty flavor. Again, that has to do with the quality of it. Um, if you get, you smell, you smell many other brands that it, it smells like a rancid oil. And that's just exactly what we saw in all the testing that we did, which, uh, when we launch our cosmetic, we're going to be talking about, um, again, the rancidity factor, because yeah. a lot of castor oil, like our company, the only thing that we do is castor oil and castor oil packs. So with that attention and focus, we can be the specialists in it, right? That's a very big difference from people who it's just one skew out of 500 SKUs that they might have. I have product. a question. Maybe you wouldn't know this. I recently got some like hormones for my perimenopause that I talk about all the time that no one wants to hear about, but they told me to put the- I always want the, to hear about your perimenopause <laughs> journey. But I they, do. they gave me- Women need to talk about these things. They do. Because by the way, I feel like until I started talking to you, and by the way, I have found that I've, well, i I'm not going to talk about this a lot, but I will say I'm getting terrible, terrible back pains mm. and they won't go away. And I just constantly sort of feel sick. I'm I, the, when I forget to take my bison is when it's worse. And then I take it. And a couple of days later, it's, it hasn't subsided completely. Cause I'm going through this like terrible moment, but it definitely helps. I notice a definite thing. But my question is I have um, hormones that they give me to put on the inside of my wrists, which I've never, not, I've never heard of because we've been putting on lotion our whole lives and no one's ever said, oh, well, you know, on the inside of your wrists and on the inside of your legs, that will really seep in and you'll get a lot more effect from it. So I'm sort of like, what is this? How are these hormones getting into my skin there? But anyway, 
is it, why can, do you get more, um, you know, why does it go through to your skin more on the inside of your wrist? And if you put the castor oil there, does it do something different than if you put it anywhere else? Yeah. Yeah. So <clears throat> castor oil, you can, you can definitely, again, it's a carrier oil. So you, so people combine it consistently with things like certain topical medicines. In fact, in conventional medicine, um, there's many different um, ointments and creams that are combined with castor oil in order for things to, you know, be absorbed better. Um, and so on the wrist, the reason why on the wrist and on the inner thighs is simply just that the skin is a lot thinner in those areas. Wow. Um, same reason why you put like perfume, if you're using like an oily perfume in those areas and behind the neck as well too. So that's why they recommend it. So again, and adding castor oil with any of your, your medicines or any of your like things that you may be using topically is never a bad thing. It can o only be a better, better, better source, but there wouldn't be a real reason why you would just only apply castor oil in those areas. Again, we're looking to apply it, uh, you know, topically on the face, on the body. You know, if you're a fan of a practice called dry brushing, I know uh, Cindy Crawford dry brushes every single day. She absolutely loves it. Um, you know, dry brushing, what some people do in order to, because dry brushing is you basically take a dry brush and it's, it can be a little bit abrasive and you, you know, brush your skin in order to like exfoliate, but also for movement and flow with a dry brush for the circulation and the lymphatics, but you can apply castor oil to your body before that. Like, and I do that every morning. So I apply castor oil to my body and then I dry brush and my, it has completely replaced my uh, body cream. And it's just, my skin feels so uh, luxurious. And, you know, I'm also transitioning in the perimenopausal state. And I, I tell you, I, I know, I don't know about you, Rachel, but for me, everything kind of like dried up. And even yeah. though I was in these practices, but like things are like drying, I feel my face is drying. Like my, the, the, a big common sign for women is the, the, the skin on their shins that it yes. dries up as well too. So those are great areas to be doing this dry brush and just getting rid of that, you know, top skin layer. And again, putting the castor oil beforehand and it just, it, it, it just, it looks, it, it just helps your skin look and feel better. By like the way, that. I've gone to We Care a couple of times. I don't know if you've heard of that um, place where people basically don't eat and they detox for however long they choose to be there. But one yeah. of their big things that you can buy at the end is this dry brush. And yeah. I haven't thought about it since then, but I still have mine and I don't really know how to use it. But their thing there is that before you get in the shower that you do this and it's helpful, uh, especially to stimulate um, kind of uh, helping your cellulite. That's a lot of why people yes. there were doing it. And the promotion there was to help. I mean, obviously the circulation in your skin helps with cellulite, but really that's why people got into it and were buying because anything to get rid of cellulite, you know, women want for sure. And I, I love, absolutely. And I love what you said there um, to do it before your shower, because you can either do it before your shower or after your shower. But the most important thing is to note that dry brushing is a practice done in the morning because it's stimulating. It's actually, it can replace, for some people, I know it replaces a cup of coffee. Like I recently, in the past like three and a half weeks, like got really good on my dry brushing routine because I I, I took ca caffeine or, or coffee out of my diet. And truly like my morning, like dry brushing, I'm, I'm very much on key, on point with it every single day because it just lifts you up. So that's not something to do at night if you're a nighttime shower person. And if you tend to do it after your shower with castor oil, just you'd be okay that, you know, you just need to make sure that you moist, make sure that it absorbs well and, and put, I would put a bathrobe on before I put my clothing on just so you don't have any transfer of the oils. Yeah. I, the last question on it is, um, uh, does castor oil eventually seep into the skin? So it's not sticky or you have to actually kind of wipe it off after you, you don't have to wipe it off, especially with the packs and the compresses. This is why I love them so much. Like this is why the reason for the eye, eye mask, less mask, less mess is that it, yeah. it doesn't need to be wiped off. It actually just will absorb deeper or feel into the skin with the pack. Again, okay. that's like mechanical. Like it's just like the slight pressure of the pack. And also with that material yeah. warming is warming. So then it just helps, helps it to seep in too. So you don't have to wipe it off when you're doing, and this is just one other product that I, I forgot to mention, because this is a huge trend online um, is the belly button oiling. And mm -hmm. this is actually meant to keep the oil there because you want the oil, but more importantly too, is a stimulation of the navel. So this is a, just a cute little pocket size. Also has the rose Also with the rose quartz, yeah. And just, just, but this would be a practice where you actually keep the oil in the navel because you, you the oil is just, again, nourishing, moisturizing. It's just relaxing for the area. Um, any final thoughts, guys, either on things I haven't brought up that you want to make sure that our listeners know about your products, about castor oil, about things they should not miss if they go to Holistic Goddess? I think for me, just the most important thing is, 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 you know, beyond people saying game changer on our website, 
hindsight. The other thing is that people say like, I, I wish I would have started earlier. Yeah. This is both totally. for like the body packs, but also for like the, the cos clean cosmetic aspect of castor oil. And, you know, I just would love to encourage, you know, the uh, young girls and, you know, moms of young girls or even their teens and then their twenties to get their daughters to start earlier because then maybe, you know, Botox is great. And so is, I'm not opposed to anything. I believe everyone has personal choice and, and does what they do. But when young girls are doing things like Botox, that has impact on, you know, the freezing of the muscles has impact on their bone growth as they develop and age. Um, so we could get our, our, our girls uh, and lady, young ladies on earlier onto this bandwagon of like, clean cosmetics and clean beauty yeah. and to really understand that even though it says clean beauty, you've got to read the label. You mm -hmm. have to read the label because there's so much greenwashing out there. And, you know, that's one of the things I love being simple. I love being the simplest. And this is what I love about castor oil because it's that one ingredient. There doesn't need to be a bazillion other ingredients. Yes. Essential oils. Why not enhance it? But let's keep things simple and let's teach our, our all the ladies and women of the world you know, how they can own their beauty, you know, when they start their period, when they're in their twenties, when they're in their thirties and that fertile zone. And when we're in our forties and transitioning and fifties into perimenopause and menopause, you know, our, 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 our biggest fans are women between the ages of 35 and 65. And I mean, they rave about castor oil and I love that for them. It's a really, it's a really important point. Sorry to interrupt you. Yeah. Um, that what you brought up there before I forget, because I think that when I think used to think of castor oil, I kind of thought of my grandmother or something. Yeah. Like, it seems like a very mature product. I have yeah. a 12 year old who would, you know, not think about putting this in her routine at all. But my daughter is at least once a day doing a get ready with me on her little TikTok, whatever. At least three times a week, I show up and there's a package from the TikTok shop of things that she is like, oh, I have to have this. I have to have this. And I think, you know, obviously tonight I'm going to show her what we yes. talked about. I'm going to show her little things and she can start doing these little TikToks about this. But like, yes, you have to open this up to our, our kids' minds that it's not a mature thing that older women know about it or that it's too messy. It doesn't have to be. I think she would love this. You know, she would love oh. to put on a cute little like you know, bow tie thing that she pushes her hair back with or a little panda thing that she has and then start putting this stuff on and show her skin. Like, you know, kids love that. And they we got to it. start letting and them know about it earlier. And the, yeah. with castor oil, it's just so versatile. I mean, we, like we're going to be filming uh, afterwards, like we're going to be doing face masks with castor oil. We're going to yeah. combine it with coffee. We're going to combine it with clay. We're going to be doing exfoliant scrubs. Like you can, and, and it's so much fun for the youth. And also as we age, like who doesn't love to take the power, you know, away from the chemicals that are in all of our products and really just own it and be like, you know, your, your kitchen cabinet and your, and your pantry is like your source of beauty. Like how awesome is that? Right? Yeah. I love being able to simplify it. It's awesome. Steph, anything for you that I forgot to ask that you want to promote from your site? I mean, I'm just all about, obviously, supporting all the goddesses and, you know, continuing to create this beautiful Chester Brown marketplace. I do have some other, you know, products coming out that are signature products soon that I'm really excited about. And then obviously our, our collab, which Ooh. I'm just like, I could not be more excited. Honestly. I'm so excited for that. I cannot wait. I'm going to order it. I'm. It's great for gifts, by the way, too. Oh my God. It's perfect for Christmas. Yeah. yeah.